Hello, and welcome to the True Stories channel. Today, we are delving into the depths of human history and tracing the footsteps of Europe's earliest inhabitants. We will discover how and when humans reached Europe 1.3 million years ago. In this fascinating journey, we will thoroughly examine the available scientific data and the latest archaeological discoveries. If you are ready, let us embark on this exciting journey of discovery together. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated with our new content. First, Migration and the Gibraltar Strait Theory The migration of humans from Africa to Europe has been a long debated topic in the scientific world. The question of how and when the hominid family, which includes modern humans, migrated from Africa to Europe has been explained through various theories. One of the most widespread theories suggested that ancient humans reached Europe via land routes through Asia. However, recent research indicates that the Strait of Gibraltar also played a significant role in this migration. Recent discoveries in the Orsh region of Spain have provided new evidence supporting this theory. A study published in the peer-reviewed journal Earth Science Reviews indicates that fossils found in the rocks of Orsh date back to approximately 1.3 million years ago, showing that hominids reached Europe at that time. These fossils are recorded as the oldest hominid remains found in Europe. The Strait of Gibraltar is a narrow strait that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean, situated between Africa and Europe. Today, the strait is about 14 kilometers wide, but it has varied in width and depth over time due to tectonic movements and changes in sea levels. During the migration period, the strait is believed to have been narrower and more passable. The maritime crossing technology used during this migration required considerable skill for the humans of that era. Primitive boats and rafts used for these crossings could be considered the earliest maritime activities in human history. Discoveries in the Ors region. Researchers redated five human remains found at three different excavation sites in Ors. Magnetic records in the sediments where the fossils were found played a critical role in determining the age of these remains. The occasional reversal of Earth's magnetic poles allows for more precise dating of such rock formations. The analysis revealed that fossils in Venta Messina are 1.32 million years old. Those in Barranco Leon are 1.28 million years old. And those in Fuente Nueva are 1.23 million years old. These fossils are now recorded as the oldest hominid remains in Europe. Previously, the oldest hominid remains in Europe were estimated to be between 200,000 and 400,000 years younger. Scientists also examined animal remains found in the area alongside the fossils. Lead author Luis Gibert stated, the results show that the small and large fauna of Orce is more primitive than that of for example, Sima del Elefante, the absence of remains of the ancestors of pigs, is another piece of evidence supporting the older age of the region. This further strengthens the idea that hominids used the Strait of Gibraltar to reach Europe. The excavations in the Ors region indicate that hominids established some of the earliest settlements in Europe. These settlements provide valuable insights into the social structures, hunting techniques, and daily lives of early humans. These findings shed light on the early periods of human history and help us better understand the spread of hominids across Europe, human resilience and adaptation. During the migration period, it is believed that the Strait of Gibraltar was narrower due to tectonic movements. Humans likely used primitive vessels to cross the strait. Lead author Luis Giber commented, humanity arrived in Europe when it had the technology necessary to overcome maritime barriers, as it did a million years ago on Flores Island, Indonesia. The stone tools used by hominids during this period provide important clues about their adaptation to the environment and survival strategies. These tools were used for various functions, such as hunting, cutting, and digging. The use of these tools indicates that hominids were not only physically, but also culturally and socially advanced. Findings in the Ors region provide important information about the hunting techniques and strategies of hominids. As indicated by the stone tools, 
hominids developed complex strategies for hunting large game. They might have hunted in groups, cooperated, and set various traps. These strategies suggest that hominids had developed social structures and communication skills. The findings in ORS also offer significant insights into the social structures and cultural developments of hominids. The necessity of cooperation in hunting and other daily activities indicates that hominids developed strong social bonds. These social structures may have allowed for the transmission of knowledge and experiences across generations. Additionally, the development of technological skills such as the making and use of stone tools shows that hominids were culturally advanced. The migration of hominids to Europe marks an important milestone in terms of environmental adaptation and survival strategies. In the challenging environmental conditions of the Ors region, they developed various strategies to survive. These strategies included not only hunting techniques, but also building shelters, using fire, and diversifying food sources. These strategies demonstrate the ability of hominids to survive and successfully spread in harsh environmental conditions. Future Research and Historical Writing These discoveries require a rewriting of human history. The oldest hominid remains in Europe show that humans reached the continent much earlier than previously thought. These findings are significant not only archaeologically, but also in terms of historical writing. Scientists believe that more future research will uncover more secrets of human history. Excavations in the Ors region and other archaeological studies will provide more information about the first migration routes and survival strategies of humans. New technologies and methods will allow for more precise dating and understanding of these findings. Future research will benefit from the collaboration of various disciplines, such as archaeology, paleontology, geology, and genetics, to achieve more comprehensive and detailed results. New technologies will enable more precise analysis and dating of fossil remains. Additionally, DNA analyses and other biomolecular techniques will provide more information about the genetic makeup and migration routes of hominids. These new findings require significant changes in historical writing. New theories about the timeline of human arrival in Europe, migration routes, and the reasons for these migrations will be developed. Scientists will strive to develop a more comprehensive and accurate understanding of human history in light of these findings. These archaeological discoveries are of great importance, not only for academic circles, but also for the general public. Educational institutions, museums, and media play a crucial role in making these findings accessible to wider audiences. Increasing public awareness of history and archaeology will contribute to the preservation of cultural heritage and a better understanding of human history. Conclusion and Closing In conclusion, these new discoveries in the Ors region help us rewrite the history of hominids in Europe. These findings significantly contribute to our understanding of how humans adapted to harsh environmental conditions and their survival strategies. Future research and discoveries will provide more information about human history and deepen this fascinating story. At the True Stories channel, we are thrilled to share such fascinating discoveries. If you enjoy this kind of content, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts with us. See you in our next video.